Hi, I'm Lori Beckman with Products Finishing. I'm here with Jordan Beavers of Metal Chem, and we are talking about electroless nickel today. What are some of the challenges that EN plating poses compared to electrolytic? That's a great question. Electroless nickel has a uh, fundamentally is uh, different than electroplating just due to its uh, nature as being a barrier coating. Electroless nickel is a great coating that has lots of offering uh, compared to electrolytic plating. Uh, you know, typically you're going to have a, uh, a more expensive process, so you've got higher chemical input costs to run electrolysis compared to electrolytic. Uh, you also have uh, a greater equipment uh, input for electrolysis compared to electrolytic. You know, the most EN baths run at 190 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, where your electroplating baths are at a much lower temperature, ambient to maybe 140. So you do have some mechanical equipment and also energy inputs that would make it a disadvantage. Um, you know, under other fundamental property differences between the two, um, there are some exceptions for you know electrolytic nickel, decorative chrome, but uh, many of your electrolytic processes are um, functional in that they are a uh, sacrificial corrosion mechanism, think your cadmium plates, your zinc nickels, uh, zinc plating uh, provides a low cost corrosion from a uh, uh, sacrificial standpoint and EN uh, you know, has no sacrificial uh, components so if, if you need that sacrificial nature you know, EN is not going to provide that. Uh, it has what we call a, a barrier mechanism um, while it also gives it some of its uh, better properties. You just explained some of the challenge or some of the advantages, I think, already. Yeah, so uh, due to the electroless nickel being a barrier coat protection and having phosphorus in the deposit as a result of that electroless plating process, we're able to get harder deposits um, compared to nickel electroplated. Uh, we're able to have uh, better corrosion protection. Uh, because the electroless process does not use rectification, uh, we're also able to get more throughput. So even though the product cost, the, the, the volume of plating might have a more of a cost on the input side, we can run a lot more parts through the process at any one given time. So that input cost can be offset by production throughput. And that, that's a big advantage for you know, high volume processes. What are some of the trends in the industry that you're seeing that signal growth opportunity for EN platers? Yeah, we're, uh, we're seeing a lot of growth in uh, the nearshoring and reshoring of, um, you know, components that have historically been plated in, uh, you know, the Asian continent. So, you know, that's bringing work to Mexico and also to the United States. Um, you know, opportunities in the energy and automotive uh, sectors, especially with the new EV markets. There's a lot of uh, components that are, you know, being plated with electroless nickel for, uh, you know, corrosion prevention mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, any application where uh, you can reduce, you know, the weight of the underlying material, you know, using aluminum or plastics versus heavier stainless steels. It's a great area for the use of electroless nickel uh, to make, you know, sustainable products and, and, and growth opportunities here in the U.S. Great. Thank you, Jordan. Thanks, Lori, so much. It was great speaking with you. You too.